Today we celebrate the class of 2020 at East Tennessee State University. Today we celebrate your accomplishments, your dreams, and the destinations that await you. We celebrate the family members, friends, and loved ones who have helped you make your dreams possible. We celebrate the faculty, the staff, the mentors who have guided the graduates on this journey. A journey of transformation. A journey to help improve the quality of life of others. A journey that at times taught resilience. Resilience in overcoming barriers. Adapting to change. Remaining focused on your goals. A journey that helped you to find what your purpose in life would be, who you would be, what your next steps would be. A journey that provides hope. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope to make the lives of others better. Hope to bring change to your communities. Hope to change the world. Because with your degree and with the power of higher education, anything is possible. To members of the class of 2020, congratulations. And let the pomp and circumstance begin. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh Say, does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Good morning. It is amazing being here today knowing that I am being joined by graduates and their families from literally all parts of the globe, all sharing a common bond of celebration. Amid the many kind words and well wishes you hear today, let me add the members of the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees to that chorus of congratulations. Commencement day at a university is like no other event in America. An ETSU commencement, in particular, is something so very special. It is a day when thousands converge to honor achievement, to strengthen bonds of friendship and kinship, and probably, most important of all, to express gratitude for the opportunities that have come together to culminate in your receiving of your degree. Remember this day, cherish it, embrace what it symbolizes. The education you have received here will shape your life and enrich your life beyond anything you could have predicted. The members of the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees are proud of you, your families, your friends, everyone who has had a part in your success. Wherever you go in life, Take the name of ETSU with you proudly. Thank you for making the choice to attend this great university and congratulations.
Today, we come together from across the state and across the world to celebrate both an ending and a beginning, the culmination of years of work by the students who are graduating today, and the promise for a better future because of their achievements. This ceremony also celebrates the efforts of family members and friends, as well as university faculty and staff who have been a part of the journey for the class of 2020. I welcome all of you to this milestone occasion as we confer the degrees that are symbolic of academic and personal achievement. Today, a total of 1,422 degrees will be conferred. Honors graduates receive medallions on special colored ribbons to note their distinction. Of the baccalaureate recipients, 131 have attained cum laude distinction for achieving a GPA of 3.50 to 3.64. 148 are magna cum laude with a GPA of 3.65 to 3.84. And 80 graduates attained summa cum laude, the highest honors with a GPA of 3.85 to 4.0. Of our summa cum laude graduates, seven have earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Earlier this week, one senior was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army during a special ceremony. Beyond the academic programs of study, this new lieutenant has pursued a very demanding program of leadership development and physical training which has prepared him to lead our nation's sons and daughters as an Army officer. We are extremely proud of our Reserve Officers Training ROTC program here at ETSU and our cadets' commitment to service and leadership excellence. Graduating today, we have Azel Rodriguez Ramon, who has been commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Army Nurse Corps. Congratulations, Lieutenant Rodriguez Ramon. Hello, I'm Congressman Phil Rowe from the 1st Congressional District of Tennessee in Johnson City, your hometown. Dr. Nolan, uh, faculty, graduates, friends, and family, uh, it's great to be here. Who would have thought a year ago that we'd be having this graduation virtual? No one could have ever believed it. And what's happened in the last year really um, is a tribute to you and your faculty members who've had to change everything they're doing at the university to see that you get the quality education that you certainly want to, to, to be able to compete in the world today. I want to, to, to go back and reminisce just a little bit. Who would have thought one year ago that we'd be standing here doing this? And I too am a December graduate, uh, albeit 50 years ago, uh, December was my graduation month from medical school. I think you have incredible opportunities in front of you. And I want to just mention a, a quick story or two. Uh, when I was a medical student, uh, one of my hematology professors, Dr. Diggs, Lemuel Diggs, spent his entire life trying to cure sickle cell anemia, which is a, a disease, uh, an inherited disease that affects African Americans. And I can remember as a student and as a resident training in Memphis, sitting by the bedside doing exchange transfusions, taking the sickle blood out and replacing it with normal blood so that a pregnant mother could go through and successfully deliver her baby. What's happened with the research, it never happened during Dr. Diggs's lifetime, but during the research it's done in this country, we now can take a fragmented or an altered piece of HIV virus, attach the right DNA message to it, and cure that disease. That is incredible of what's happening. A disease that we didn't even know the name of um, turned out to be hepatitis C, a disease we didn't know the name of when I graduated from medical school, we now can cure in less than 12 weeks. And look what's happened with the pandemic. Uh, the quickest vaccine that's usually brought to uh, fruition is about eight years. It takes that long. In less than 10 months, we're gonna have a safe, effective vaccine that's 95% effective in curing this virus. So the outlook for you is good. 
And I would have said a year ago when you graduated from college or your, or your graduate program that there were ample jobs for you. This obviously has changed and, and uh, obviously we've worked from home with our PDAs, our computers. Uh, it's created a real challenge for you all. But I want to congratulate you and especially the folks there at the university who, and your families who stuck by you during this time. And I want to leave you with just a, a brief message. And that, uh, that 50 years of mine has gone by pretty fast since graduation from medical school. Um, and it's something that I not all, have not always done correctly myself. But I want to encourage you to put God first in your life. Put your family a close second in your life. Put your job, whatever it is, get one that you have a passion for, whether it's a social worker or a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer, whatever it is, work hard at your job. And lastly, strive to leave the world just a little bit better than you found it. If you do that, I can promise you, you'll look back 50 years later as I've done and say a job well done. So congratulations and Godspeed. Hello, I'm United States Senator Lamar Alexander. One thing we can say for sure, your graduation from East Tennessee State University is historic. Everyone's going to remember the graduating class and the year 2020. And while there are many disappointments, you'll remember how you dealt with it. My grandfather was a railroad engineer. He used to tell me, aim for the top, there's more room there. But I learned pretty quickly, you don't always get where you aim. And you're usually measured not by how you handle successes, but how you handle disappointments. So there's some disappointments in 2020, but there are also some successes in how you handled it. Both will be a measure of your future. The best thing is that you've gone to a wonderful university in the greatest country in the world. Congratulations on your historic graduation in 2020. On behalf of the more than 14,000 students and 2,600 faculty and staff who call East Tennessee State University home, it's my pleasure to bring greetings from the entire ETSU family, and I extend my congratulations to you, members of the class of 2020. Graduates, today is your day. Each of you entered our university full of hopes and dreams and aspirations, yet with some degree of trepidation about the journey that awaited you. Today begins another journey as you move from this place of educational exploration and personal development and move into the workforce or onto graduate school. Commencement is a time for renewal and reflection, a chance to look back at what has been and a time to envision the future. It's also a bittersweet moment when we acknowledge our pride in you and your accomplishments, but we also feel a loss knowing that you're moving on away from our classrooms, our residence halls, our research labs, and our fields of play. When you receive your degrees today, please take time to read the text on your diploma carefully, paying attention to the following phrase, on the recommendation of your faculty. Graduates, your degree is not a mere collection of credit hours. It's not a random reflection of job-related skills. Your degree is the embodiment of the academic spirit, and it is a covenant between you and the faculty in which they formally declare that you have achieved the learning foundations expected of a college graduate. Our faculty and staff have opened your mind to new ideas and philosophies that will serve you well as citizens of our social democracy. In the years to come, you will realize that they are the ones who have left marks on your consciousness that will never be forgotten. As you begin this next journey, I encourage you to take time to acknowledge our faculty and our staff for the role that they have played in shaping both your dreams and your future. Take a moment in the days to come to say thank you to them, but do it in a good old fashioned way, not through text or for a note, but through a real note, an honest to goodness thank you note. Take out a pen and a piece of paper and express to them your thanks. And I assure you that that expression of thanks and gratitude will mean more to the recipient than simple words can convey. I firmly believe in the power of joy and I fear, feel that joy can be passed on by simply saying thank you. A thank you can be big or small. 
Say thank you to a person who held the door for you as you moved into a building. Say thank you to a person who made it possible for you to be at this institution, to a spouse or to a loved one for the sacrifices that they made to make your success possible. Just say thanks. The ceremony today is somewhat different from what you might have imagined when you began your journey here at ETSU. Your degree is being conferred today, but I also recognize that part of the commencement experience is being able to walk across the stage. I promise you that in May of 2021, you'll have the opportunity to do just that. And we will share more information with you soon regarding that opportunity and those spring commencement celebrations. While we live in a world that is overwhelmed by a sense of the unknown in terms of what the future holds, I hope that at least for the next few moments, you'll put away your phones and enjoy the joy of this moment. Enjoy the joy of dreams realized. Appreciate the joy of doing what at times seemed impossible. Cherish this moment and then say thank you to those who made it possible. East Tennessee State University was founded in 1911 for a singular purpose, to improve the quality of life for the people of our region. And for the past 106 years, we've remained committed to that mission. Graduates, you have spent the past four, or for some of you a few more years, as part of the distinctive community that embraces the tripartite mission of teaching, research, and service. You've participated in public service projects, You've volunteered in our local schools. You've built homes for families. You've raised money for those whose lives have been impacted by domestic violence. You've assisted in the fight against the opioid epidemic that is ravaging the Appalachian Highlands. You've cared for patients in clinical settings across the region, and you've helped fight the spread of COVID-19. In doing so, you've embraced our institutional mission to improve the quality of life for the people of our region. For more than 100 years, our faculty and staff have transformed the lives of both our students and the region as a whole. We have a proud tradition at East Tennessee State University of serving first-generation college students, and many of today's graduates are the first in their families to receive a college degree. I commend you on your achievement, and I look forward to recognizing you at our graduation ceremonies next May. It's my honor to introduce producer, director, and Emmy Award-winning actor, Timothy Busfield, who is with us today. Mr. Busfield was once a student here at East Tennessee State University, and it was on this campus that he pursued his love of theater. Hi, it's Tim Busfield. Go Bucs! Uh, to everybody at East Tennessee State I, and anybody leaving East Tennessee State, I am so proud of you. I had a tremendous time. I would not have the career I've had. I would not have some of my greatest friends, the best teachers. I had a phenomenal experience at East Tennessee State University and hooked up with my mentor and and my one acting coach, which was Bud Frank, um, who taught me everything, uh, really the basics uh, that I needed to move on. He taught me, let me observe as a director and Equus and I uh, auditioned for the part and I didn't get it um, of Alan Strang. And then he said he wanted me next to him because he didn't think I was going to be lasting long uh, in, at the amateur level. And he was right. It was pretty much just a couple of years later and I was in stripes and, and working as a professional actor and uh, the career was off and running. But and when I went to East Tennessee State University, I thought I was going to play baseball. I did not think I was going to be an actor, but my life changed right there um, when I realized I couldn't play baseball with those guys, but I could maybe act with some of the, the folks that were around. The actors we had were great, uh, but the experience uh, uh, for me uh, of coming together on that team that we created of actors that did community theater and and plays at East Tennessee State and coupled with Bud Frank and uh, some of the other instructors that were at East Tennessee State was a great experience for me. So for everybody at ETSU who's going to be graduating here, um, perspiration is more important than inspiration. 
as you go out into the professional world. So please don't not work hard. Uh, I think that's a double negative, don't not, but which of course I, I probably should have learned while I was at ETSU. But uh, I don't think you can succeed in life. There's no shortcuts. Uh, there are no, it's not who you know. Uh, you're going to have to work hard and you're, you're going to have to, to, to perspire uh, for the successes that you want uh, and the things that you want. Even if you just think you're going to be a dad and work a normal job, well, you're going to have to get up in the middle of the night, change a diaper and get that baby ready to nurse or, or feed. And that is the kind of perspiration, that extra effort. Uh, that it takes to be a good dad is the same extra effort it's going to take to be a good uh, uh, person in the workforce or teacher, actor, fireman. Um, there's so much you can do if you're positive and you're happy uh, at work and you bring a great attitude and you make yourself indispensable, you can do anything you want. Uh, if you think that you can not be a team player and isolate yourself and not work hard, then you just won't succeed. Uh, but I commend all of you for uh, putting in the time at East Tennessee State. I think it's a fantastic thing. I'm always looking for bucks out there. And uh, when I run into one, I'm happy to sit down and, and chew the fat with them and possibly help them move along. Um, so uh, from myself to all of you at East Tennessee State University and all those graduates, uh, especially in this environment we're in. Um, God bless you uh, and go Bucks. It's been a long dark night And I've been waiting for the morning It's been a
I want to congratulate you on this wonderful occasion to be able to consider yourself an alum. You are officially an alum from East Tennessee State University and specifically from the College of Business and Technology. I can't imagine you ever thinking about when you started here that you would be graduating under these conditions. But nevertheless, we're here to celebrate the wonderful accomplishments that you've been able to achieve. Thank you and congratulations and enjoy your career after East Tennessee State University. Congratulations, graduates. I want to take a few seconds to express how proud the accounting department is of its MAC graduates and its Bachelors of Accounting graduates. You have worked so hard for this moment and we wish you so much success, not only in your career, but in life overall. We're thankful to have been a part of your journey and we want to hear from you. So please keep us posted on all your life successes. Now, go light up this world. Go Bucks. Congratulations on being the newest graduates from East Tennessee State University and the College of Business and Technology. Each of you has taken your first big step on life's journey towards success, and what a step it has been. You've shown your flexibility, your resilience, and your commitment in the most challenging of circumstances. So continue to learn, to give, to serve, being thankful for that gift of education. And don't be afraid to follow your passions. Remember, if you want to walk on water, you got to get out of the boat. Now go and make the whole world set up and take notice. Go Bucks! Congratulations to the class of 2020. No, I'm kidding. Let me do the actual one. Hold on. Congratulations to all the members of our Buccaneer family who are celebrating this incredible accomplishment of completing your degree. The great broadcaster and journalist Tom Brokaw once said, you are educated. Your certification is in your degree. You may think of it as the tickets to a good life. Well, let me ask you to think of it as an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. I cannot wait to see how you change the world. Go Vox. Hello graduates, families, and friends. I'm Dr. Dennis Depew, Dean of the College of Business and Technology at East Tennessee State University. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I congratulate you for reaching this special milestone, one you have been imagining since your first day on campus. I want you to take the time to think about how far you have come since your first day at ETSU, how much you have learned, how much you have grown, and the confidence you have developed. As your time as a student draws to a close, I want to leave you with a few words of advice. And these words of advice are tied to our vision in the College of Business and Technology, which is to educate, innovate, collaborate, and inspire. Even after you leave ETSU, these four words can provide a roadmap for the journey ahead. Your coursework and experience have provided many tools for your toolbox. Use those tools to solve problems, use them wisely, and continue on a path of lifelong learning. That's the reason we call this commencement. So that when you move forward, you acquire more specialized tools as your career evolves and develops in the future. For those who are com completing undergraduate degrees, please reach out to us. If you determine the next step in your educational journey is to pursue a graduate degree, this would be a good place to do it. I earned a graduate degree from ETSU, so I'm an alum as well. Your knowledge and understanding throughout your time at ETSU, you've been challenged to innovate, to think globally, but to respond locally. Remember to always take the opportunity to grow from your failures. I've heard many entrepreneurs talk about how they learn more from their failures than they did their successes. Do not place limits on what you can achieve. Graduates of the College of Business and Technology are making an impact here in our region and far beyond. This year has reminded us that collaboration happens beyond the boardroom. It happens virtually, and I commend you for finishing strong in a mostly remote educational environment. 
continue to be open to new opportunities to share and develop ideas and work together across continents and time zones. As you move forward to the next chapter of life, I challenge you to pay it forward by inspiring others to follow their dreams, such as continuing their own education or starting a business. And please stay in touch with us. You're part of the family now. We are inspired by your stories and we will always be using your stories to help motivate others. Live out your purpose and make a difference in the lives of others. Again, please do not let this day pass without reflecting on all the ways you have grown since your very first class at ETSU. It is this transformation that gives us educators hope. Our faculty encouraged you as you cultivated resilience and through each exam, through each project, and each presentation. Now you are ready to go forth and live out your purpose. But do not forget to educate, innovate, collaborate, and inspire others along the way. We are so very much proud of you and all your accomplishments. We congratulate you and hope you circle back around to visit us very, very soon. Take care. God bless and go Bucks. As is tradition at ETSU, the first degrees conferred today will be to those students who have successfully completed doctorate, education specialist, or master's degrees. You have invested in one of ETSU's core values, and that is a commitment to intellectual achievement. Your time as a graduate student has and will continue to change your life and the lives of your families. Beyond the individual, graduate education contributes to the greater public good. What you have learned as a graduate student will support teaching, research, and advanced practice in the broad disciplines of humanities and arts, social and natural sciences, business and technology, education, and healthcare. People outside higher education may wonder about the value of research and scholarship, and maybe you've had to explain to your family and friends what your graduate research has been about. The scholarly and research enterprise involves many small steps where we develop new knowledge and apply it to different situations and variables. We build on past work and pave the way for further advancement and application. As you leave ETSU, we are relying on you to take what you've learned here and pave the way for a brighter future. Our beloved Appalachian Highlands, our state, nation, and world face unprecedented challenges. Some of you will be taking on cybersecurity and environmental threats, mental, physical, and public health issues, social justice and criminal justice, economic recovery, and educational success. Some will focus on basic and applied science research, while others will address athletic performance or government management. Others of you will enrich our collective human experience with music, poetry, and art. The last nine months have taught all of us that we can do the hard things. It has taught us that we are resilient. With your graduate degree and with this sense of being able to do the hard things, you will become the leaders we need, poised to face the challenges and solve the problems of a rapidly changing world where we need smart, capable, engaged citizens with advanced skills. Over two decades ago, I graduated from ETSU with my master's degree and left to pursue a PhD. Two years ago, I was fortunate to return home to these mountains and this university because I wanted to support and advance graduate education at ETSU. I'm proud of my ETSU graduate degree, as I know you will be. On behalf of the graduate school staff and the entire graduate faculty, I send you heartfelt congratulations and wish you great success in all that you do in the future. Keep in touch and change the world. Go Bucks! At this time, I will recognize for the conferring of the degree, the candidates for the master's degree. President Nolan, these candidates have completed all requirements for master's degrees in the College of Graduate and Continuing Studies. 
On behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you're entitled with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. The College of Business and Technology. Master's Degrees. John E. Archer II. Jutta Bangs. Robert Caleb Barnett. Sarah Lemons Black. Jessica Caroline Brummett. Taylor Ann Campbell. Daniel John Cardwell. William Wade Chance Kate. Keishala and Jolie Charlton. Whitney Leanna Clark. Courtney Lauren Clark. Brandon Allen Crotzer. Gregory Leonard DeRue. Alexander Ryan Doyle. Stephen Allen Fair. Thomas David Harrison Flynn. Chad Lynn Goad. Maggie Rianne Gregg. Morgan Elaine Hamilton Pig. Nice Olive James. Yi Chuan Jiang. Matthew Jacob Jones. Terry William Jones Jr. Johanna Paulus Coco. Jake Elias Koski. Natasha Rose Kiker. Zekun Li. Cheng Liu. Margaret G. Manning. Heath Ray McMillian. Christos Mikrovas. Chukwuka Emmanuel Nebui. Shyam Sundar Odetti. Juddy Moindi Ombasa. Chelsea Michelle Sands. Amber Nicole C. Nicholas Cody Shields. Anna Grace Smith. Joel Shane Spears. Jasmine Francis Stair. Bradley Allen Stuffle Street. Wendell R. Swartz. Alexis Michael Tarnofsky. Silas Reed Venturella. Jessica Nicole Woodby. Leslie Wyatt. At this time, I will recognize for the conferring of the degree, the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. President Nolan, these candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree in their respective colleges. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me, by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Baccalaureate Degrees Beatrice Abati Jacob Ryan Adams Mishari Farhan Alanazi, Antisar Aldabel, Bader Algao, 
Joshua Reed Allen. Ahmed Awad D. Alotaibi. Fatima Ramadan. Adnan Mohammed Al Sada. Ibrahim Al Yami. Morgan Caitlin Armstrong. Nicholas Chase Arnold. Audrey Danielle Ashburn. Hunter Cole Bagley. William Connor Bailey. Timothy Andrew Barker. Ransom A. Barnes. Dylan M. Barr. Charlie Glenn Bartlett IV. Jacob Sean Beals. Cecilia Julianne Benevento. Adam Scott Birchfield. Daniel Zachary Bishop. Bryce Edward Bissell. Ashley Brooke Blaylock. Nathan J. Boccarossa. Blake Anthony Bockrath. Jackson Taylor Brooks. Caitlin Marie Brooks. Blair Kalen Brown. Devin Chase Brown. Mark Elliot Brown. Kaylee Elizabeth Brumfield. Dalton W. Bryant. Hallie E. Burke. Cameron Lee Burnett. Robert Thomas Burns. Anna R. Cade. Tyler Lane Carver. Fernando Castellon. Jordan Tyler Cavins. Brooke Suzanne Chandler. Aaron Robert Childress. Ryan D. Clark. Benjamin Daniel Klepper. Christopher Lewis Cobb. Trey Devon Collins. Cole Thomas Cooper. Mackenzie Joyce Cox. Raina Kaylee Crawford. Jacob Trevor Crawley. Aubrey D. Crum. Jackson Kelly Crum. Jacob Nathaniel Cumbo. Brantley A. Darnell. Robert Andrew Davidson. Cooper L. Davis. Logan Michael Tanner Davis. Daniel Parker Delosier. J.C. L. Diaz. Taylor Scott Duran. Hobie Hayes Dowell. Cade Reagan Dudley. Nicholas S. Dudney. Tyler Anton Dunch. Nicholas E. Earhart. Destiny Cheyenne Feathers. Zachary Austin Fontenot. Melissa Renee Ford. Andrew Pablo Forney. Chad Allen Fryman. Matthew Ty Fuller. Christopher John Gasly. 
Matthew Jordan Gentile Dusty A. Graybeal Catherine Hunter Green Nathan Alexander Greer Jedediah D. Griffin Jamichael LaShawn Grimes Alazar Halemesco Alex Clifton Haley Julia Rose Harpster Richard Keith Harrell IV Casey Hope Harrison Grace Elizabeth Hassler Anthony Jacob Hawkins Aaron M. Hayes Austin H. Hayes Reno Alexander Helton Hunter G. Hensley Benjamin Fox Higley Spencer Logan Hill Brooklyn Taylor Hoffman Wesley Blazer Holt Matthew Alden Hooker Jeffrey Jacob Hoover Jacob Andrew Horn Mackenzie Lynn Horn Savannah Lee Horn Kimberly J. Hubbard Joseph Chance Hultz Zachary Allen Humphreys Brittany Louise Hurd Nikolai Alexander Isles Innocent Irutin Gabo Aaron Cole Jackson Madeline Reese Johnson Eun Hai Jung Taylor Christopher Kennedy Harrison Lloyd Kilby Chase Odell Killian Catherine Nicole Kilpatrick Brianna Cody King Kelly Rebecca King Megan Eliza Kirk Angela Michelle Knight Michael Andrew LaRue Andrew Jacob Lave Elizabeth Ann Lawson Robert Edward Lay Olivia Shea Ledford Eli Joseph Leonard Elliot J. Lewis Mitchell E. Lewis Patricia Ann Lewis John Locke Livesey David Highsmith Mackey Audrey Grace Malone Brandon McConnell Kyler Matthew McKeel McKinley Yvette McMahon Morgan Randall McNabb Simon Lee Mahaffey Madison Alexandra Melich Joshua Robert Miller Megan Deanna Miller Molly Hannon Miller Mason McKenna Millhorn Ryan Parker Monroe 
Alexander Klein Montgomery. Brandon E. Moore. Lori Lambert Moreno. Joy Natasha Morris. Jonas Oliver Morrow. Riley J. Mosier. Brian Stephen Mullins. Harrison T. Murray. Lindsay Elaine Murray. Noel Virginia Mutter. Hope A. Myers. Savannah Lee Nelson. Kelly Nicole Newman. James Christian Tyler Norris. Timothy R. Olson. Jacob Michael Oswald. Oriolua Oyenkansola Oelaja. Johnny Cole Pack. James Parker, Dalton C. Parks, Meet Kirit Patel, Catherine Grace Patton, Max Kelly Phillips, Mally Rose Paskus, Maura Elizabeth Powell, Gregory James Powers. Michael Serino Prevatera. Gershel Rembert. Jonathan Lee Renner. Austin Cole Ricker. Misty Dawn Rowe. Dawson Wayne Russell. Fahad Islam Salim. Nicholas R. Salpas. Laleshka Santiago Rivera. Jonathan Scott Shallon. James Scruggs. Levi Scott Shelton. Samuel Andrew Shields. Samira Shirkhani. Logan Tyler Simpson. Tyler D. Simpson. Nicholas Franklin Smelser. Georgina Lyle Smith. Jessica Leanne Smith. Scott Dillon Smith. Stephen Kyle Sprinkle. Jason Lynn Stewart. Megan Strouth. John Dana Stunkard. Olivia Taylor Sturgill. Alec Jackson Sullivan. Samantha Lynn Sutton. Katera L. Sweat. Floyd Alfred Sweat, Jr. Matthew Allen Sweet. Catherine Ellen Tatter. Sierra Taylor Tate. Aaron Elizabeth Taylor. Leah Blake Taylor. Habtamu Tesfaye Tegegne. Nathan Scott Thomas. Micah Jude Thomason. Nina E. Thompson. Erica Nicole Tilly. Samuel Enoch Timlick. K. 
Kelly Lynn Grace Tolliver. Julian Puente Torres. Peyton Avery Trantham. Joshua Brian Trim. Daniel Jude Trinkle. Cameron Matthew Tweed. Clay A. Varner. Nathan Patrick Wade. Elizabeth Marie Walker. Alec Christian Waller. Hui Wang. Dakota Dallas Ward. Grant Owen Watson. Jessica A. Watts. Davis Bryant Wise. John Rutledge Smith Wexler. Mylita Lukey Whitaker. Madeline Rose White. Preston Michael Whitehead. Caleb Charles Bennett Wilkinson. Isabel Charlene Williams. Tara Brooke Williamson. Madeline Faith Weininger. Danielle Marie Withy. Alexander Michael Whitman. Catherine Ann Wolf. Alexander Joshua Yaniro. Samuel Elakem Yaukuma. Nicholas David York. Jonathan Pedro Zavaleta. Jingyi Zhang. To everyone who is participating in today's commencement ceremony, I invite you to join me in congratulating the members of the class of 2020. Graduates, I have a message for each of you that you will receive in your email later today. While I wish that I had the opportunity to shake the hands of each of you today, I instead hope that you will enjoy a personal message from me, a message of thanks, a message of appreciation, and a message of congratulations. For our graduates who are wearing your commencement regalia, I invite you as a symbol of completion to please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your mortar board. Graduates, before we bring today's ceremony to a close, I want to thank you for all that you have done throughout the course of 2020 to keep one another safe. You've gone above and beyond my expectations to be good neighbors, to keep each other safe, and to embody the values of this university. It's the holiday season, and as the holidays are upon us, I hope whatever you wish for in this holiday season that it comes true. But I wish and pray that as we bring this year to a close and transition to 2021, that we have the opportunity to come together soon as an ETSU family to celebrate your accomplishments and the accomplishments of everyone who has moved on from this institution over the course of the past year. So from my family to yours, happy holidays. From the ETSU family to families all across the globe, congratulations on your accomplishments. Graduates, Godspeed to each of you and go box. Beat it on.
thank you to my friends and family for your support, especially to my sons. This one's for you, boys. I'm so happy to be part of Class 2020. I'm ready for my next step. I'm gonna thank my husband for supporting me during all this time. Thank you. I wanna say all oh, thanks to God. Oh, thanks to my family, my friends, my professors, everyone around me. Thank you so much. First of all, I'd like to thank God Almighty for his love and blessing towards me. I'd like to thank my family and friends for the support and encouragement throughout my journey at ETS. Hello, this is Dr. Mimi Perot in Media and Communication, wishing you all a happy graduation. I'm so proud of you. You've done so much this, this semester and adjusted so well. Um, go out and get them, Godspeed and go Bucks. From the Department of Housing and Residence Life, we congratulate our fall 2020 graduates and especially our residents. Great job, best of luck. To all the fall graduates of 2020, congratulations. Uh, and to my colleagues graduating from the physical therapy program, well done. All of your hard work over the past three years has paid off and you are all now doctors of physical therapy. Good luck on your board exam next month. And I look forward to seeing you progress as people and therapists during your career. Wishing you all the best on your new roles. Hey graduates, we just want to congratulate you on all the hard work you've done. We know you've worked hard and put in all your best efforts. We talk about you all the time about all the good work you do and how much we love our students. We love to see all the great things that they do once they get out. So congratulations and enjoy your day, and we'll see you around as you go on into your future careers and education. Congratulations, ETSU Class of 2020. Reaching this significant milestone, especially amidst these unprecedented and challenging times, is testament to your tenacity, resourcefulness, and resilience. These qualities will serve you well in the next stages of your professional, creative and scholarly journeys. Thank you to my friends, my family, to my children who are my motivation, and thank you to ETSU for this opportunity to receive my BSN. Congratulations, class of 2020. Unfortunately, I cannot make a funny video for y'all because this video can only be 10 seconds, so congrats to the nursing uh, class of 2020, and thanks, mom and dad, we did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of the 100,000 ETSU alumni, welcome to the family. We are so happy for you. Best wishes and go Bucks. I just wanted to say thank you to my family, my mom, dad, Ethan, my sweet Marcus, and my two precious cats. Congrats, everyone. Congratulations to all of the members of ETSU's fraternities and sororities who are graduating this December. We are so proud of all of the hard work you've put in, and we wish you the best moving forward. Go Bucks! Celebrate good times, come on! Oh, I just showed my age. It took me a little longer, but hey, I graduated. I just want to say thank you to my wife, Sonya, for her continued love and support. I would have never made it to this point without her. We did it. I would like to thank my wife, my two boys, Leo and Ari, and my mom and dad for the support through this journey. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woo! Hi, I'd like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me through everything that I do through school. I love you guys. Thanks. We did it. We did it, Mom. I'm going to be a graduate of East Tennessee State University. I did it, Mom. <laughs> she graduated. No cap. Congratulations to all the graduates from the Department of Curriculum and Instruction. You survived an unprecedented semester and we wish you well. My name is Miranda Honeycutt. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Psychology, a minor in Public Health. And all I can say is Corona sucks and go Bucks! I want to thank my friends and family for supporting me in my journey on receiving my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Thank you. From the ETSU Department of Music family, we congratulate you on this tremendous milestone. Please remember that you are always a part of our family, and we look forward to hearing about your future accomplishments. Congratulations and go Bucks! I would like to thank my family, my friends, and most of all God for allowing me to receive my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Woohoo! I 
just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that supported me this far and congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations, East Tennessee State University Nursing Scholars. It has been such a privilege and a pleasure to work with you on your journey. Congratulations are in order. We expect great things from you. You are the next great thought leaders of our profession. I just want to thank my family for helping me get to this point. Godspeed and go Bucks. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be here and thank you so much to everyone who helped me along this journey to get to this point. I am so grateful, it truly takes a village. Go Bucks!